three supermodels. Erin O'Connor, Caroline Winberg, and the legendary Naomi Campbell are competing to find the next face of Max Factor. They must lead teams of novice models Friends. on real-life jobs. All right, girls, come on! I hope you guys put it together. Oh, God help you all. Only one girl can win. <laughs> and only one mentor can win. Previously on The Face. Oh, 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 oh. A photo shoot for ID magazine. Go, girls. Yeah! I guess we'll see in the first challenge who has the better team. They didn't deserve to win that challenge. I was really shocked. The losing mentors each had to choose a team member for elimination. Jessica. Eliane. Caroline sent home Naomi's girl. Jess, you can leave the competition. You didn't want to be in my team. And I always get my revenge. You put out a girl just because you didn't get her. I know. And Naomi promised to get even. If one of your girls enters my room, I won't even blink. I'll just be out. You got war, honey. I'm ready. Don't worry. This week, the client is a major online fashion outlet. Tonight, I want you to put on our first ever catwalk show. My girls have never walked on stage before. When you have a room full of expectation, this is almost an impossible challenge. The show will be in one of London's most opulent and decadent venues. I really want your girls to embody that within their walks and their attitude. I do think it's possible that Queen Caroline can win two in a row. I am very upset and not happy at all to be the first mentor to lose a girl. I'm going to give it to Caroline. She's going to get it from me. is now one girl down. I am really disappointed in Karen because for her to literally send a girl home to get revenge, I just don't think it's very professional. But if, if Team Naomi wins, then one of us is going to be sent home straight away without even being given a chance, and that is revenge in that itself. Is I don't think Team Karen is playing a fair game, to be honest. Even though our mentors maybe not get along, I think that we should do our best to get along. Honestly, I want Naomi to send one of these girls home in the space of <laughs> a second out. Come on, come on, come on. Like, seriously, how can I say I care about Team Erin or Team Caroline? Or how can Team Erin or Team Caroline say they care about Team Naomi? Whatever my mentor wants is also my desire. If she wants Team Caroline girls to go home, I want Team Caroline girls to go home. Tomorrow, the novice models must put on a professional catwalk show. To help them prepare, Erin is holding a catwalk masterclass. Catwalk is such a thing for me, it has defined my career. In a career spanning more than 15 years, Erin's unique style on the catwalk has made her a favourite of the world's top designers. I've done campaigns for Chanel, Givenchy, Valentino, Dolce & Gabbana, Versace, Jean Paul Gaultier. I've pretty much covered every fashion capital in the world. This masterclass is all about channeling your inner diva. I'm going to show you the walk I became famous for. <laughs> Believe it or not, walking is the hardest thing in the world to do when there's a room full of people looking back at you. The art of modelling is to make it look poised and effortless. <laughs> All great models have a signature walk. Someone like... Giselle, 
has a different walk. So you know, it's just kind of like this. And then she's kind of sexy and she's kind of upbeat and she's got the, you know, she's got the assets. It's kind of very exciting. And now I'm going to do Kate Moss. Get into my character. So I'm Kate and I'm quite demure and cool and I'm a bit of a hippie and it's really okay. And you know, I'm just going to give you a little flirt at the end and you know. And now I'm going to do super sexy Naomi. You need to find a walk that reflects your personality. But designers constantly spring surprises on us a last minute before the show. That's why they're going to make your lives a little bit more difficult. To recreate a high fashion catwalk, Erin wants the girls in corsets. The corsets are unimaginably tight. It's like a painful, jagged, stabbing feeling and she's giving them hats by Philip Tracy. I'm giving them all of these challenging, difficult elements because I need to see essentially how they cope under pressure. I was just going to be worrying about my walk, but now I have to worry about the height of the skirt and the shoes, and I can't see the floor. Yeah. How are you feeling? I feel a bit sick. Welcome to the modelling world, girls. <laughs> Sienna? Let's see your walk. I felt like I had the hardest hat, and I was very nervous about that because I couldn't see anything. This is really hard for them. There will be wobbles. It's as much about a mindset and keeping your poise. When it's tough, you have to try to keep your face neutral and poised. Was that difficult for you? A little bit. Take your time. You don't need to rush it. It was a little bit like you were walking down the street. Nadine, let's see your walk. I've got to tell you, that was like watching a professional model on a high fashion runway. And you also gave me a little bit of sass. I saw Nadine in there. We got the diva in you. Well done. <laughs> Chloe Jasmine, it's time to show me you're in a diva. Absolutely, Miss O'Connor. For me, you do have to put a lot of love into your modelling. To me, it's like an art form. It's a way of expressing yourself. Oh! <laughs> you gave it razzmatazz. We need to be clear between what's theatrical and what is a poised fashion moment. By industry standards, I wasn't putting them through a lot. But I do think that nerves kicked in. <gasps> oh, my God! It all happened so fast. Like, I just turned around and suddenly Sienna's on the floor. Sienna, is Erin. I'm here. You just focus on your breathing. Erin was in her beautiful dress and her amazing heels on her knees, making sure Sienna was OK. And I could see she felt really, really worried for her. Excuse me? Excuse me. Please, please don't film this. I feel disappointed in myself, because I wish I didn't faint. I wish I just stood strong, but... <laughs> 
I'm so proud of all of you for walking that catwalk. But I have to tell you, this is a competition. And you will all have to continue to work really hard to get better. There was one person who showed me their inner diva more than anyone else. Raquel, you stood out for me. I thought you were terrific. But overall, it was Nadine. Erin said such good things about me and my walk. To hear that from her is like out of this world. I don't think I should have been second place to Nadine, to be honest. I don't know what team Caroline has working for them. I just literally want one of them out. I want blood, like, I can't deal with it anymore. <laughs>Tonight, the teams must put on a catwalk show. One of the losing teams will have to part with a girl. The supermodel mentors are meeting theoutnet.com, a global online fashion retailer stocking designer labels. Tonight, I want you to put on our first ever catwalk show. We've been planning for the upcoming party season um, and we'd like to showcase our most fabulous gowns. The show tonight will feature three dress themes. Each team must model a different one. Here are the three themes, and good luck. To keep the client from knowing which team has which, the supermodels are picking at random. I am very upset to be the first mentor to lose a girl. Caroline, not gonna get off this one easy. I do think it's possible that Team Caroline can win two in a row. Naomi can threaten my girls as much as she likes, but whoever wins the next challenge is the one who has the decision. I think that my girls could pull off this campaign. My main aim is keeping them free from elimination, and we're gonna we're gonna win. We've got to win. The location for tonight's catwalk show: Goldsmiths Hall in London. The models arrive before their mentors. Wow, oh, guys, it looks amazing. Okay, okay. Wow, well, where to start, basically? Naomi's team has the dramatic glamour theme. 
Oh, Vivienne Westwood. Okay. What do you think about this dress with these shoes? Absolutely. Yeah? The Oscar Durante. Yeah, and the McQueen. I Perfection. Erin's <gasps> team has the dark romance theme. Is that Alexandra McQueen? And for Caroline, decadent daydream. I like I this one. I love this one. I'm a bit nervous about this challenge because yesterday Erin said that I walked like I walk on the street, which isn't promising, but I practice in the mirror, so hopefully my walks improve. <sighs> I'm really excited about this challenge. It's quite perfect because we're all very dramatic and very glamorous. Hello. Hi. How are you guys? When the mentors arrive. Hi, girls. Hi. Hi. So this is what you've chosen to wear. Caroline wants to change Nadine's outfit. You look gorgeous in that dress, but I just wonder if it's too different. There was this one dress that I fell in love with, but Caroline made me try on another dress that she thought was nice. I think that's pretty on you, no? You don't think so? I personally didn't like that dress because it was just straight and I couldn't walk properly in it. OK, so do you want to walk? Walk first and then you walk right behind? You, don't, you can't walk so fast, right? It always, you know, sucks to be the one who wears the dress that is really tight at the bottom because you feel like you're walking funny and you can't take long steps. Nadine was a little bit upset, I think, because I put her in that dress, but she was the one who looked the most beautiful in the dress. We need to win this challenge because if Team Naomi wins and we lose, one of us is going to go home. And the fact that I can't walk in this dress probably guarantees that it's me. The teams each have half an hour to rehearse before the show. Hello, girls. But tonight's catwalk has a twist. Is that Menadine? Yeah. This isn't just a normal catwalk show. At the end of the runway, there's a spinning disc. Not easy at all. Not even for the most experienced models in the world, myself included. There you go. A little look before you step on. Don't stop. That's you go. That's it. For novices, this is almost an impossible challenge. What? <laughs> when I set first that on it, I was like, oh, OK, it's a bit wobbly. So I'm like, OK, just please, 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 please do not fall off. Just one little tip. When you, when you walk, 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 step and take your pose. I think encouragement is key. It's about building them up now. If you're going to scream at someone, then for me personally, that wouldn't work. Strong, heads up, walk. As well as coping with the revolve, Naomi wants her team to strike dramatic poses. You could do something like this with your hand. Just something that they get a great picture, something striking, because it's dramatic glamour. But she wants Chloe to avoid going over the top. No, Chloe, just stay straight. Don't even try to turn. It's the best way for you. Do it again. Straight. Better. Do it that way, OK? But of course, everyone is mildly terrified of Naomi Campbell. She knows exactly how she wants it. She points out exactly what's wrong. No. So, we're trying to do our best to impress her. I don't want you to stop and talk to me. I want you to keep walking. You just walk gracefully. I find that you're walking like a horse. Can you go back and do it again? You're going to pose strong. To the front, to the front, to the front, your head. Pace, 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 pace. You keep your walk until you get off out of sight. Ever, don't ever do that. It's so unprofessional. Your arm looks weird there like that, Raquel. It looks like it's broken. It's either up or not. Look at the camera, get your pictures. You want this campaign, you want to be booked, you want Outlet to take Team Naomi. Uh, 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 uh. Back. All right, well, Nadine. On Caroline's team, Nadine must plan how to walk in her dress. This is going to be the tricky part for you, to, you know, your little dress. So if you want to make a move, just make a tiny, subtle move. So do I wait until we turn around? So you go and then you come off around here. Like that. And then you do a pose. 
Knowing that Naomi is just waiting for one of us to go into the bottom two is scary. And then maybe just like that. OK. We know, like, Naomi has it in for us now. And if we are in the elimination room and Naomi's deciding who's going home, like, we're doomed. Right, it's into tricky part. To keep things simple, Caroline has decided no big posing. Since we're, we're not the dramatic team, you know, we're more the soft team, so everyone keeps their facial expression very soft, light, and not crazy posing, you know, something more beautiful and classic. The show starts in just 15 minutes. Okay, I got notes. Naomi is still worried about Chloe being too theatrical. Chloe? When you walk down, you stop straight. And you don't do any of this stuff when you get on the ramp thing. You just stay strong the whole time and then turn and go off. This is what you think. I'm a diva, I'm strong, I'm glamorous, I'm dramatic. That's what you're thinking. Nadine, talk to me. Talk to me. Leave me alone for now, please. Okay, you sure? Call me when I can come. I don't like my dress and I can't walk in it. I don't know what's going through Nadine's head at the moment and I just hope she falls out of it soon because it's, it's not fair on any of us. Tonight, Naomi, Erin and Caroline must compete to put on a catwalk show. One of the losing mentors will have to part with a member of her team. This is a real show now. All the girls will have an audience. And I think that makes a big, big, big difference because they are now performing to people with expectation. And now, please welcome the three supermodel mentors. Back. And 
Naomi Campbell. And joining me tonight to judge the show is a woman who's no stranger to catwalk shows, Jordan Dunn. Jordan, Jordan, Jordan. That is so sick. I cannot believe it's her. Eve and guest judge Jordan expect professional standards. Each girl's place in the competition depends on her performance tonight. I feel like if we're going to win any challenge, this is the one we really, really want to win. I think we want to win for us and for Naomi. Team Erin are first to walk. Erin's given them a dramatic look to match their outfits. We're just going to give it 110% because we do not want to lose. I'm hoping that adrenaline is going to kick in and they're going to go up on stage and look like they mean it. There are no more rehearsals now. When you're on stage, people are there to watch you. The last thing that you want to show is fear. I can feel loads of eyes on me. And the main thing you're thinking is, please don't trip, please don't trip, please don't trip. She doesn't have much confidence in her expression, does she? Yeah. probably walking down the catwalk for like 20 seconds. It feels like a lifetime. Next, Sienna. This one. Mm -hmm. OK. Nice and confident. Very confident. She can walk. Yeah, look at how she owns that platform. Look at her. Tina's ripping it. I'm so proud of Sienna. If you're going to get a round of applause from anybody, it should be Naomi Campbell. I got goosebumps. Yeah. That was a bit clumsy. But she had a presence. Yeah, she did. You know what, no matter what happens, you can't, you did. you're never going to get better than that. It was an amazing experience. I'm so happy. I got the best audience reaction, but I'm still proud of the other girls. Even though they didn't get applause, they still did their best. It didn't go as I hoped it would, and I struggled a little bit. And I'm worried that I've just ruined all our chances. <sighs> feel bad. Next on the catwalk, Naomi's team. Don't doubt yourself. Have confidence in yourself. You look incredible, OK? But we're, we're going to do this as a team and win as a team. I like that. Yeah. She's really elegant, isn't she? Her body is incredible. Yeah, amazing. She looks pissed off. She's beautiful, huh? Now, Chloe's turn. 
She's been asked by Naomi not to go over the top with her poses. It's a bit much. Yeah. Naomi's team, they're all very kind of strong characters. But I feel like they all kind of try to outdo each other with the posing. Oh my god. <laughs> Don't hug me. Make up, make up. Don't hug me. I love you. Next, Caroline's girls. Finally, Nadine. It's impossible with feathers. Tell me everything's fine when everything's not fine. Stop it. The show is over. Only the winning team will be safe from elimination. Tomorrow, one more girl will leave the competition. God, it was so amazing. Oh, I was looking so beautiful out there on the runway. All my teammates were looking absolutely fabulous. Team Naomi definitely won this. Well, I know you that yesterday I was the, the best Gaoka in this competition, and right now I did shit. And I know that everyone is looking at me because. I was the best, so they're expecting me to be the best today. The winning team will be decided by Eve from theoutnet.com and guest judge Jordan. They don't know which team belongs to which mentor. So the first team that we had was Dark Romance. And I think for us, Sienna really stood out. Oh, my so God, didn't she? I loved her. She was confident. Her walk was so on point. She sort of stole the show, stole didn't the she? Stole the show, yeah. Natalie, her eyes didn't look as confident, did they? Yeah. And we kind of let her down a little bit. Mm -hmm. And she was a little bit dead in the face as well, mm -hmm. especially because you're, like, opening for your section. And the second theme we had was Dramatic Glamour, and that was re some really strong choreography there. We yeah. With the girls, they look great. I think in the same way that Sienna absolutely stood out, Chloe stood out in the set, in a but, but in a different way. way. Yeah, the other way. two were so strong, they did the posing really credibly, whereas um, Chloe just felt a little bit forced, I think. And finally, we had Decadent Daydream, and that was opened by Eleanor. 
I think she has a very good runway face. Like, her face is actually really, really gorgeous. Yeah, she was very elegant. Nadine was great. She obviously had a bit more of a difficult time with the really narrow dress. So, yeah. But she, um... But her she face didn't mm. let us know that she was having trouble exactly. because it was still very posed and elegant. Yeah. I think all of them together really embodied the sort of soft, romantic mood that we were looking for. We have made a decision. And the reason we went with the team we did is because we felt they worked best together as a team. And we went with Decadent Daydream. Oh, oh my, my God, God. <laughs> Caroline! Well, if so you send one of my girls I home, can't. I will kill you. Jenna. I said it. Very disappointed. I'd actually dispute what she's done because Team Naomi finished beautifully. None of them deserve to be put up for elimination. None. Hello. Guess what? what? We won again. Tears of joy. Oh, yes. Yes. No. No. Oh. no, she did it. It's fine. It's fine. No one messes with Team Caroline. Oh, oh, my win. I mean, it's just amazing to win two in a row. I'm so proud of my little girls. They're so cute. I proved it once again. Don't mess with the sweet. I'm afraid to tell you, Team Naomi did not win. I'm not going to single out any person at all for anything. I'd rather. We go through that tomorrow. Unfortunately, we didn't take it this time. But overall, you've just done your first real fashion show. You've just got to keep the faith. No tears, no tears, no tears. Feel good about what you did. If Caroline puts out one of my girls tomorrow, all hell is going to break loose. Today, a model from one of the losing teams will be going home. There's definitely a weird atmosphere on Elimination Day. Everyone's just, like, very quiet. Yeah, it's not a very nice atmosphere at all, is it? They're scared that it might be them. Yeah, which it would be. I, don't, I wouldn't want to be in that position. Team Carolina, I don't think I'm going to keep this winning streak up. No, I think... It's not a winning streak, it's a lucky strike. They're not the strongest team here, and they're not anyone's biggest competitor is here, not. I'm not convinced. They have to come harder than that. But I hope Caroline will be fast today, like whoever she picks to go. I think Naomi will kick off. If Caroline sends one of us home, she's going to freak out.
most horrendous thing putting one of your girls up for elimination because on the one hand you're nurturing them and you want them to continue but this is a competition and one of them has to go. Hello ladies. There were a few wobbles. That comes down to nerves. Sienna, this feels really awkward because you were all here as a group but your walk was sensational last night. Thank you. Natalie, you have a really pretty face, but I could read fear in your facial expression. And instead of looking fierce, you looked very vulnerable, like a deer in the headlights type of thing. Eliane, you got on that platform, a little bit of a wobble. I'm sure you remember that, do you? Yeah. You had a wobble? Yeah. But you did ease into your walk, and I knew exactly when you turned and when you started to feel more comfortable. I don't like losing my girls, and I don't take it very well, as you see. I've gotten to know them a bit more, so I'm not going to be happy to have one of my girls go. How are you doing? Fine. All right. Good. Taking direction for all of you, note this, is extremely important. Models need to be able to be molded into what the photographer, the client, wants us to be. What makes a great model is that she can be versatile. Right, Emma? That she can be molded into how they want their last image of whatever they're promoting or whatever they're selling to be. Chloe, you did not do anything I asked you to do. You had ample time to have in your mind the notes I gave you. Everything we spoke about, don't put your hands up, stay strong. And you still went and did this. I didn't want any of that. It wasn't about you. It was about Outnet and their brand and the dress that they gave you. And you chose to show you. You made Team Naomi look like the three degrees, a singing group and an old one at that. And that's not what I wanted. All we're getting is theatrical. This is not Annie. This is not Cats. You need to decide what is it you want to do, modeling, or theatre, because if it's theatre, this is not the place for you. All I know is I want to be here. You want to be here, but you've got to listen. I understand. And so, therefore, I have no alternative but to have to put you up for elimination today. And I hope that Caroline sends you back. I knew in my heart this morning I'd be going in there, and I accept your decision gracefully. You need to fight for yourself, because I don't want to be two people in my team. And I hope that she will send you back, because she sees promise. Naomi's criticism is so harsh. Like, it really stung me. But I know it was right. This is really hard. And I let my team down. And they have every right to be angry with me. And if I don't come back, I know exactly why it is, because I was far too theatrical. I had a really, really tough time this time. And I'm really sorry to say this. Natalie, I'm going to nominate you for elimination this week. You can't win the team newbies, so you're not going anywhere. Well, listen, it's not over yet. And if you want to stay in this competition, you go downstairs and you fight for your place. I'll feel gutted if I lose Natalie. It's totally out of my hands now, which feels me. For the second week in a row, Caroline will decide who leaves. Natalie, how are you feeling? I'm not surprised that I'm here because I felt like I sort of let my team down on the catwalk yesterday because I think I let my nerves get the better of me. 
I thought that you struggled a bit last night. As you know, I've never done anything like this, and I used to pretend when I was back at home, like in my corridor, just like walking up and down, like dreaming of being on a catwalk, and then for it to actually happen, I think mostly I was just nervous about tripping up, and I think I let that overrun in my head a little bit. I felt really nervous when I've been doing shows too, but you have to really learn how to control your feelings. Yeah. Chloe, how did you feel on the catwalk? Were you nervous at all? Oh my gosh, I was so nervous. You were? You didn't look nervous. <laughs> had a bit of a mini panic attack, and it was really scary for me. You didn't show it at all that you were scared. But let me tell you, there was really no discipline at all in the way that you walked. I'm sorry, but it was kind of all over the place. That's OK, I welcome that critique. You were very, very theatrical in everything that you do. I thought that you looked like you were on a stage and not on a catwalk. And there is a massive difference. That's why I'm here, Caroline. I need some help on reining it in. I'm going to have to make a decision about who goes. Is there anything final any of you want to say? I'm still so young and I've never modelled before and it's made me so determined and modelling is literally my life now and I want to prove to all of you that I can be a really good model. You're so adorable. Yeah. My passion, oh my God. And you, Chloe? I'm so sorry that Natalie's here because she's amazing. Do you think you could win this competition? Hopefully. <laughs> I have no idea. Obviously, I'd love to, and I'm... but I can't predict the future. This is a really tough decision for me to make. I think you both struggled last night. In the end, one of you looked fearless up on the catwalk, and the other looked afraid. But a model can never show fear. So for that reason, Chloe, congratulations. You can go and rejoin your team. Thank you, Caroline. Thank you. <laughs> that was really hard for Natalie and that was really hard for I know, Caroline. I know, I know, but you, I, I told you not to doubt yourself. Come here. I'm devastated. It has come as a shock that I have been eliminated so early on, but it's down to Caroline. If Caroline thinks that I'm not a strong enough model, then that's her decision. But I'm still young. I've still got a future, so see what happens. Thank you, Caroline. You're welcome. Caroline, tell me what happened in there. When I saw them, I felt bad. Natalie looked beautiful. She was very well spoken, but on the catwalk, I felt like Natalie was the much weaker one. I was really disappointed that Natalie didn't come back. And only Caroline knows why she made her decision. Perhaps the fear of Naomi's wrath was almost too overwhelming for Caroline. Caroline, how was Chloe inside the elimination room? Did she fight for it? Chloe was actually very sweet and nice. Sweet and nice? She was very sweet, she was very polite, she was very complimentary of Natalie. But did she fight for it? She was a no, little she didn't. bit insecure of herself. I feel like Natalie fought for it a little bit more. A bit more. more. You, I told you to fight for it. This is where you show your strength. It's not about feeling terrible for someone else. This is a competition. All these girls at one point are going to be gone except one. I keep telling you this. If you don't want to go back in that room again, all I can tell you is you got to step it up. This is a competition. The other girl doesn't care a damn about you. So you need to take care and watch out for yourself. 
you got to be strong. You can't take it personal, and you can't be concerned about others. You've got to be concerned about you.